Hey all myself Disha welcome to my channel today in this tutorial i'm going to teach you about the google forms how you can uh, create an amazing and beautiful google forms uh, so let's get started so just simply uh, search for the google forms in the google you will find this page uh, this version i'm showing on the laptop so you can uh, in the same way you can create some forms in your from your mobile as well but uh, this tutorial belongs to, uh, to the laptop version okay so this is a uh, to create a forms you have to go into google forms page and here just go to google forms click here i'll share the link of it in the description box as well so in this this will be the your uh, google forms page so uh, you can check the, uh, the template gallery of it. So these are the, some templates like customer feedback, event registration, contact information, RSVP form, party invite form, contact information, find a time, uh, uh, t-shirt sign up, whatever things. So uh, regarding the work, whatever form you, you want to create, you just select it. Uh, suppose this is a worksheet i want to create a course evaluation assessment uh, exit ticket at, uh, it's a niche of the education and uh, for the work we have this um, these type of uh, forms okay so now suppose i'll uh, select this uh, customer feedback uh, so i'll show you both the ways to create from the scratch and to use the existing template as well so uh, both ways are really very really easy so first we'll start with the ready-made template so see how to change the existing template i'll show you so this is a template what already designed here so uh, in this template you will get the three things here the questions responses settings okay so these three tabs are really very really important for the forms so this uh, kind of add-ons if you are unable to see it on your uh, desktop so don't worry these uh, maybe you have not installed any add-ons still yet that's why you must be not able to see this so no need of this if you are using the form for the beginner level uh, this is a customized theme option preview and do redo and the send button is here okay and this is a to edit the form you can see this uh, kind of things here so um, i'm sorry uh, so this is a uh, things like add question input question text add image add video and add section okay now suppose if you want to edit this form itself just click here customer feedback if you want to uh, change to it in the name to the customer survey just type the customer survey here if you want to change the subheading like in abcd whatever you want to write you can write it so feedback type is comments questions uh, bug reports feature request so can you see the feedback is uh, as asterisk market asterisk means it's a mandatory so how to do this uh, I'll let you know so first of all this if you want to change the multiple choices questions are here feedback type so you can select from here multiple choices check boxes if you want to check boxes so see uh, automatically check boxes have been created here okay so if you want to uh, create a drop down list so uh, it's a drop down list will be here you can remove any of the thing that you want to uh, you can't see drop down list here as well you want to see it in the preview so I'll see in a preview see feedback type it comes in the drop down list okay so like this uh, you can uh, have some actions to the check boxes multiple choices file upload if you want uh, to take some file from the uh, customer uh, either in a pdf form or any form so you can use this function as a linear scale multiple choice grid checkbox grid anything will be there so i'll show you the example like multiple choices grids will look like this this is this stands for rows this is for columns so if you want to change the uh, things here so you can change uh, uh, directly uh, add in the row just you can add some of the more rows if you want to add uh, in these columns okay but if you don't want this multiple choice create just select uh, uh, multiple choices so this is here you can preview this by clicking on this i button just click here see you can see the um, radio buttons here okay so uh, i i think you know uh, the well difference between the multiple choices and the check boxes check box means you can select all uh, or the options uh, any of the options if you want to select you can select in that so i'll sh show you that thing what is what i'm saying so in this this is the difference between the check box and this is the radio button means it's a radio button you can select only one thing one feedback but if uh, if uh, you are designing a form where you want all of the like you can 
you want a checklist option so you can select this one okay so this is a if you if you want to make this thing mandatory like a feedback type is a must so here is on the bottom you can see the required thing so you just have to open this uh, option as a uh, required like a green button will be there and now if you will preview the thing so see here is the required thing feedback type automatically or uh, here the asterisk red as asterisk sign is uh, came here in the feedback form if customer will not select this thing so see this automatic pop-up will come like this is a required question okay so this is a difference uh, like uh, if you want to uh, make the things required or not if you want to duplicate the section simply you just click on the duplicate see same sections have been duplicated here if you want to delete this one simply click on the delete tab if you if you want to uh, you know uh, delete this one you can delete these things whatever the things suppose this is a email tab so uh, you want this email drag and drop forms on the top itself i want to catch the email address first so you can just uh, give me your mail id okay so like this so your i selected the short answer type uh, um, these so customer can you know uh, put the mail ids here again if you want to make it mandatory then you just click this uh, response on so now can you check it uh, so give me mail id so your short answer will be here so customer can write their mail id here in feedback type all these things okay so i guess these are the basic things you just do the uh, test and try it for the forms and now suppose in between feedback you want uh, you don't want this field you just delete this one name also you just delete this one okay now i'll show you how to add in some more things so suppose now in this form you just uh, want to add some of the sections so see automatically uh, after clicking on this add question uh, you can type a question here so like um, suppose uh, what is um, your uh, age suppose you okay so you can add your answers here like for the uh, between look like 20 to 30 or another option 30 to 40 40 to 45 whatever you want to add in you can just add in here okay so like this you can add some questions and now you can see so see this uh, question field have been added as a radio button okay so in this way you can add sections in the forms as well you can delete it as well if you want to delete you can add some images you can add title descriptions uh, uh, again uh, sorry i clicked here okay now if you want to add section just click here add section so this section will be added so this section 2 will be the untitled section if you want to add anything like uh, thank you for your feedback that's it and description is the optional so the, in this way you can see the section here so actually this come on the next page uh, because two page forms uh, it is showing because my form is gone like in um, a size of the form is uh, big enough that way on the next page it uh, comes so here continue to the next section after section one this, this thing you can see if you uh, don't wanna eat so you can just delete this section from this thing as well okay so now if you want to change the theme of like uh, the background color is a light greenish type and the header image you want to change so how to change the header thing so just click here on the customized theme option so if you want uh, any of the color uh, like background see on a single click you can uh, see the uh, changes in the background color as well and the section tab as well okay so you can um, and change the theme from here as well now if you want to change the header image so here you can find the option of the header so in the header uh, whatever the image uploaded uh, they have the pre-built images as well or you can just uh, uh, you know uh, input your image as well from the upload section as well whatever the image you want so suppose uh, i'll take some of the any of the image uh, a good image i'll take uh, to show you suppose these are the some of the animated images are here as well so suppose i will take this and insert see the image will change okay 
so uh, like this you can uh, you know in the on your form you can place the uh, animated images or the plain images uh, whatever your as per your requirement okay now you can close this option uh, you can just delete this section uh, to delete this section okay so this is a form now in the responses section or uh, can you find the zero responses are here because you have not submitted this form to the people so after submission if anybody will respond to your form you can immediately see the responses here you can see who people have been responded to your forms so in the settings there are many things like in if you are like a familiar with it then uh, go and test and try for the settings if you really you are really beginner then i'll just recommend you don't do any changes in the settings for now okay so this is just like uh, this is a way how you can design the existing form templates uh, uh, from this google forms gallery now if you want to send the form just click on the send button and send via if you want to collect email address just check mark this option to collect the emails and here you have to type the email address of the person whomever you want to send the uh, uh, emails okay suppose i am I, I typing my um, email id here that will be the subject line of the email so i'll fill the kindly um, fill the form okay this is the subject line what you can put i have invited you to fill the form include form in the email as well you can include or you can if you uncheck this option then this form uh, the customer will open in the new web page okay so both options are here so i recommend you to include the uh, checkbox this uh you know check in uh, you know checklist this button and here is the option add collaborators now what a collaborator is collaborator is the people who will work or who will design your form who will add the questions for you who will edit the things edit the sections for you okay so in this uh form you can add the collaborators so if you are working in a team then it's a better option that you in a collaborate uh, you can add the collaborators from this section simply you want to send this form by clicking on the send button okay or you can share this link of this form you can shorten the url from here so see uh, shorten url the, you can uh, share this url with your colleagues or wherever uh, on your whatsapp or uh, via email as well if you want to share this url or you can paste the code on the website as well okay this is the embedded html code if you are a web developer then the you will be uh, familiar with the embedding of the html code so this code of the form you can uh, you know paste on your website so to collect the leads or to collect the email addresses okay so this is a way how you can uh, uh, edit with the forms as well so just click on the send the send, uh, form will be sent now i'll get that form on my mail id so i'll check it and i'll show you So as you can see i uh, got an email from there so see how it looks by by, uh, by default port by google forms it will be uh, here and it is a mandatory term so it is a by default uh, we are not editing this anything and we, you can't remove the uh, watermark of the google as well from this so uh, in the email uh, because we have checked the options that include that form in the email that's why customer can you know type the their responses in the email as itself or they can fill out this in the google forms as well if they will click there automatically they will be re re redirected to the google forms page and they will you know submit their responses so now suppose i'll submit my response here uh, whatever the thing uh, so just submit and after submitting the response customer survey this thing thank you page will be uh, you know shown to the customer now i'll show you how uh, we will see the responses here so see here on this screen you can see responses one is one customer means myself uh, have responded to the mail id okay so uh, like this you can collect the mail ids or uh, like um, means on which uh, uh, you know questions they have responded or they have not responded on the comments all these things all the data details data you can find in the google forms
I'll show you how to build the form from the scratch. To build the form from the scratch, just open the forms again. Uh, just type in and just delete it, and I'll just open the form. Just click on the blank image and uh, uh, sorry, not an image, blank uh, plus button here. Untitled form just gave the name of the form. The short test form okay so here uh, your title will be here if you want to add something so this is this will be the brand new form for you so now you can add in some sections here like in the questions drop down list checkbox like same as in what i shown you here if you want it required you can you can duplicate it and within a minute you can you know make some forms if you want to move it from up and down so you can do this as well okay so uh, this is uh, the thing and uh, suppose this i select the drop down option here this is uh, after that now uh, if you want to add the header image now you want to add so you just want to click here in the customized theme so in the customized theme you will see the header as an option as a uh, here choose image so select the option of the choose image here now again you can you know uh, select any uh, form like uh, any image that ever whatever you want to okay now i'll select this image whatever just for an example i'm showing okay so in this way you can build a form from the scratch now suppose you don't want a theme as a blue you can change the theme to whatever color you want from this color palette okay so like this you can uh, you know you want to uh, click on the add itself so see the all the color to changes to the pink color itself okay so like this you can build from from the scratch and if you want to preview this form just click on the preview button and uh, uh, that's it i guess that will be the enough for you and if you are not seeing uh, if you have installed any add-ons here so you can see the add-ons from this tab okay so i hope this video is very useful for you you will find if you will find this video useful please uh, don't forget to like my video share it with your friends and comment me if you have any uh, doubts for it thank you for watching my video thank you for subscribing to my channel